kiri ku dar anjing gitu gil rawat. दालगुनों ग्रुप में शुरू करते हैं पूरा Praise the Lord. Eskaya welcomes you in this virtual Holy Mass. Before we begin the Mass, it's a kind request to keep your phones in a silent mode. Today's main celebrant of the Mass is Rev. Richard Mullins and it is a pre-recorded Mass from the YouTube channel of National Shrine, Washington, D.C., U.S.A. Today, we are starting a new month. Let us Prepare ourselves. Let us give thanks to the God who has always loved us, shown us His mercy, and we are all we all are in a good state. And we have entered in a new month. Almighty Father. Thank you for this new month. And this May month is a month of Mother Mary. As we are going to celebrate the Holy Mass, let us prepare our mind, body and soul. So that in this Mass we can receive Him. We can receive Him, we can welcome Him in our hearts. Let us make sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Third Sunday of Easter Entrance Antiphon Cry out with joy to God all the earth O sing to the glory of His name. O render him glorious praise, Alleluia. Psalm 65, 1-2 Let us all rise for the entrance hymn.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to help us prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Today's first reading is from the Acts of Apostles. And in today's first reading, we'll hear the high priest inadvertently admits that he has no power to prevent the preaching in the name of Jesus 
by the apostles. First reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 5, verses 27 to 32 and 40 to 41. In those days, the high priest questioned the apostles, saying, We strictly charged you not to teach in this name. Yet, here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things. And so in this Holy Spirit, so in, and so in the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. And they charged the apostles not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. Then they left the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God. For Sam's, your response will be, I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. Your response I will, I will extol you, you Lord, o Lord, for you, for you have, have raised, raised me up. up. I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. Your response? I will, I will extol, extol you, Lord, Lord for, for you have raised me up. Sing psalms to the Lord, you faithful ones. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment. His favor all through life. At night comes tears, but dawn brings joy. Your response? I will extol, I will extol you, Lord, Lord for you have raised me up. up. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Be my helper, O Lord. You have changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, I will thank you forever. Your response? I will, I will extol you, Lord, o Lord for, you, for you, you have raised me up. Today's second reading is from the book of Revelation. And here we'll hear that John hears the voice of the multitude of angels singing the praises of the Lamb. Second reading. A reading from the book of Revelation. Chapter 5, verses 11 to 14. I, John, looked and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders the voice of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Christ has risen, who created all things and has had mercy on the human race. 
Alleluia. Today's gospel reading is from St. John. And from today's gospel, we'll get to know that following the death of Jesus, Peter and his companions decide to go back to their fishing profession. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus revealed himself to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together with Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, we also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, no. So he said to them, cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment for he was lightly clad and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came into the boat, for they were not far from the shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come, have breakfast. And none of the, the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over, took the bread and gave it to them. And in a like manner, the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus told his disciples, cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will catch something. It was a profound act of faith because they hadn't caught anything. And sometimes Jesus asks of us things that seem impossible to live through a pandemic, to deal with an illness, to face a family crisis. He asks us to drop down our nets. And because of our humanness, because of our humanity, like the apostles, we might think that nothing will come of it that is good. But because it is what the Lord is asking of us, he will help us. And so the apostles caught this miraculous catch of fish. We don't know what miracles God has in mind for us. But we do know that if we do what he asks of us, if we follow in his way, then good things will happen that we do not expect. Through the darkness, through the tragedy, through the sadness, through the fear, as the apostles had already witnessed the suffering and death of Jesus, then came the glory of the resurrection. So too, we know that despite the tragedies that enter our lives and the sadness, that we have the hope and the glory of the resurrection and the presence of Christ with us. It 
Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, Son our Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. It descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now let us place our intentions before our Lord, and our response will be, Lord, Help us to be your docile for a docile followers. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to be your docile followers. For the Pope, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that following the examples of Peter, they may become docile and flexible to the inspiration, instruction, and command of Jesus. We pray. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to be your docile followers. That Christians all over the world may understand the true meaning of the real presence of Jesus in their lives and believe in the transformation that He can bring about. We pray your response. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to be your docile followers. That pride, arrogance, and rigidity may be replaced by humility, flexibility, and docility in human minds so that Jesus can transform weakness into strength, difficulty into opportunity, and sorrow into joy. We pray your response. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to be your docile followers. For those who have lost hope in their lives and are disoriented, that they may see Jesus standing on the shore of their lives as a beacon of light. We pray your response. Lord, help, help us, us to, to be, be your docile followers. For all of us present at this Eucharistic, that we may proclaim Jesus as our Lord and go beyond our comfort zones and habits to follow him on whom everything is new. We pray your response. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to be your docile followers. Father, we make our prayers in faith, believing that your Holy Spirit will give us the courage to be your witnesses through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of your For our good and good of the Holy Spirit. 
Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that these gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord, my Lord, my, my God. God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord, my, Lord, my, my God. God. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on them all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let, let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and gracious to grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, Have mercy on us. Lamb of, Lamb of God, you take away the sins, the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Since we cannot receive the Holy Communion now, let us remember our best moment and our first Holy Communion when we have received the body and blood of Christ. Remembering that, let us partake in the spiritual communion by saying this prayer together. O Immaculate Queen of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth Mother, Mother of God and, and Mediator of every grace, every grace. I, I believe, believe that you are dearly beloved, beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ is truly, really and substantially contained in the most holy sacrament. sacrament. I love, I love him, him above, above all, all things, things and long to receive him in my heart. Since now I cannot receive him sacramentally, be so He's good to, to place, place him spiritually in my, in my soul, soul and never permit, permit me, me to be separated, separated from, from him. him. Amen. Amen.
taking my sins, my cross, my shame, rising again. Let us say together this prayer after communion of St. Thomas Aquinas. I thank you, Lord, Almighty Father, Father everlasting God, God, for having been pleased through no merit of mine, but of, of your great mercy alone, to feed me a sinner and your unworthy servant with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that this holy communion May, may not be for my judgment, judgment and condemnation, but for my pardon and salvation. Let this, this holy communion be to me an armor of faith, and a shield, shield of goodwill, a cleansing of all vices, and a rooting out of all evil desires. May it increase love and patience, humility and obedience, and all virtues. May it be a firm defense against the evil desires, of all my visible and, and invisible enemies, a perfect quieting of all the desires of soul and body. May the Holy Communion bring about a perfect union with you, with you the one, one true God, and at last enable me to reach eternal bliss when you will call me. I pray that you bring me a sinner to the indescribable feast where you, with your Son, and the Holy Spirit, are to your saints, true life, full blessedness, blessedness, everlasting joy, and perfect happiness, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us say together a prayer for priests of St. Therese of Lisieux. O oh Jesus, Jesus, eternal, eternal priest, keep your, your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart. When 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 we touch them, keep unstained their anointed, anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unselect their lips, daily purple with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, shield with the sublime mark of the priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit and may the souls to whom they minister be their joy and consolation here and in heaven the beautiful and everlasting crown. Amen. It is free for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, we pray for the healing and full recovery of those affected by COVID-19. We pray for God's comfort for those who have lost loved ones to this pandemic. Father God, we submit our lives, our families, our projects, and our futures to you. We pray that through the precious and holy blood of the Lamb, shed on the cross, this pandemic may stop. We may make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh 
the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Yes, with Bow down for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. 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 May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. 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 And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. 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 Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. This beautiful life that you have given us to each and every one. Thank you, Father, for our family members for giving us the beautiful parents, our brothers and sisters, and the surrounding that you have given to us. Help us that wherever we go, wherever we stay, wherever we work, we may always reflect Christ to our works. Heavenly Father, help us to be your docile followers. For this we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. Do not, not let us fall into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Mama Mary, intercede for all of us, that we Christian, we can understand the meaning of Christian. Christian means living a life, living Christ-like life. Help us that we may always imitate him, we may always follow him, and Every day we may grow our faith stronger and stronger through the word of God. For this we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Let us say the memorari together. Remember, Remember O most, most gracious Virgin Mary, Mary that, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. In spite of this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, 
O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it, as it was, was in the beginning, the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without, without end. Amen. Virgin Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint Mother Teresa, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Saint Jose Maria Scriva, pray for us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust, I trust in thee. thee. Let us make sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, friends, for joining us in this virtual Holy Mass. Have a blessed week ahead. And as once again the pandemic is rising, stay safe and take precautions, take care. Praise the Lord and have a blessed week ahead. Thank you. <laughs>